Hey there guys, Primus Reviews here and today we're going to be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series 28 Decepticon Barricade. Now I did tease this figure back in my last video and if you haven't checked out my last video please make sure to check it out, leave a like, subscribe if you're new and make sure to turn on post notifications so that way you guys don't miss a single upload. Now this figure was actually really interesting as it, when it was shown in promotional arts and when this figure came out in hand it actually looked really really good almost masterpiece level and we were all like low-key excited for this figure and I honestly was too and boy was I not that disappointed seeing barricade on the big screen was actually really really cool and actually really scary for me as when he transformed a he just transformed out of nowhere started attacking bumblebee and I was honestly like what the heck is going on but no all in all I did like this guy and I think what they did in the movie was actually a pretty good job at making him menacing and making him more alien so that was actually pretty cool but yeah overall I do like what they did with this guy now taking a look at the packaging you do got that nice image of the Transformers logo there you do got that nice uh, image of barricade there studio series 28 Decepticon barricade on the side you do got that nice image of barricade don't know why that's the Autobot logo on the back you do get a good look at the figure and and you do get the alternate mode which actually looks really really cool on the side you do got that nice image of barricade once again but yeah all in all great box now <laughs> let's take a look at this figure now taking a closer look at this figure you can just see the beautiful detail on this guy it actually looks really amazing all right barricade that's enough come on get off <laughs> oh boy but yeah taking a closer look at this guy just look how beautiful that is man taking a closer look at the head detail that actually looks really really good you can just see in there the little subtle red eyes in there uh, super cool I do like the silver paint a little bit of light blue on the top actually looks really really cool but just going down on the figure just down the line looks actually really really good and I'm actually really impressed by the detail work on this guy the backpack it's actually manageable the backpack is actually manageable which is which I'm actually really happy about but yeah all in all this figure does look actually really freaking good but yeah all in all I just really like this figure even though he is a really small figure I do like this figure I just am in love with that head sculpt let's take a look at that head sculpt really really good and I do love the detail work as well I do like the paint color scheme here just the black actually looks really really good but all in all he did come with only one accessory so let's take a look at that one accessory now now taking a look at its first and only accessory here we have I don't even know what to call this thing it's it's uh it's a weapon uh the the the, uh, I'm gonna say the thing he used when him and Bumblebee fought for the first time in the movie. Uh, but yeah, looks actually looks really, really, really cool. It does spin not freely, but it does spin enough. And yeah, it does look really, really cool. I do like the color that they went with this thing. And here's the other side, so that way you'll be able to see a better view from there. But yeah, these are made out of. Uh, rubber so you won't be able to hurt yourself at all they're not spiky at all they don't even hurt but yeah that's it for his accessories so let's put it on so that way you can see how cool he actually looks with it so what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring the weapon here and it is already going to have a peg here here grab barricade's hand and there's gonna be a hole right there all you're gonna do is simply just plug it in there you go and it should have a firm grip and there you go now you have barricade in holding I'm sorry his really cool looking accessory oh no really really cool looking accessory but you can just see barricade actually looks really really cool and honestly really almost screen accurate for a deluxe studio series did a great job with this one I do have to give him high high praise now barricade is a really 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 small figure as he only stands about 
four, four and a half inches tall. That way you can just see how small of a figure he really, really is. Just for comparison, here he is next to Cliff Jumper. That way you can just see how small he is. And I think these guys are about both the same height, so you can just see how small they are. Here he is next to Ratchet. Again, another deluxe figure. Uh, he's just a smaller deluxe, but it's scale accurate wise, so I can't be too mad. There we go. Here he is next to Autobot Ironhide, which I, I love this guy. Pause. But yeah, there you guys go. That way you guys can see just how cool these guys actually really look, and I do love that both of them are are black and gray slash white and stuff or silver but the, these guys just look really really cool and really screen accurate and I love what they did so here are both Autobots that I have from the first movie as of right now don't worry I'm gonna uh, one day I'll buy the master pack that way I can get all the Autobots but there you guys go there I have the movie one version that way you can just see how small barricade is which these guys look really 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 great and uh, really 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 movie accurate which studio series I can't thank you enough for this it looks really really good and now I think it's time for barricade to meet his mate so here he is next to studio series Starscream now these guys look really really freaking good with each other man they look so screen accurate and I just love the attention to detail that they did with these guys and it does look truly truly amazing and they just did a fantastic job here is uh, barricade next to blackout that way you can just see how small barricade really is and yeah barricade is a tiny little guy next to this big ginormous guy so yeah there you guys go look looks amazing here he is next to lord megatron that way you guys can see just how cool this looks and yeah, <laughs> really, really great, great job by Studios at, at making the best uh, version of these characters. And, and, and it looks really, really, really freaking good, man. I just love what they did. Now, I think it's time for a group photo. So I'm going to put Barricade here. So just give me a second to bring in Starscream and then to bring out Blackout. Yep, there you guys go. There you guys have the whole Decepticons that I have in my collection for now. I know. Where's Brawl? Where's Bone Crusher? Dude, <laughs> you gotta remember. I I, I I didn't have, you know, enough, you know, supplies in order for me to provide myself the joy of getting all these figures. And I'm just getting whatever I can get my hands on. So you gotta give me some, you know, slack. But I will be getting them. Don't worry. So we can get the whole family photo but for now here they are and they all look really really good and I just can't praise them enough for for doing such an amazing job at, at, at just attention to detail and studio series has blown my mind so there you guys go there you have the whole Decepticon team as of now from the first Transformers movie now for articulation his head is on a ball joint he can look up that far and he can look down that far. His arm can move out only that far. He does have a bicep swivel, bent at the elbow. Sadly, no wrist swivel, but it, his uh, his thumb can't open about that far. So that's pretty, pretty cool. Sadly, he doesn't have... No! His leg can move out that far and his leg can move back about that far, but... That's about it because of this piece here. I mean, they did what they could, but I guess it is what it is. He does have a thigh swivel, bend at the knee, and his toe can go up and down. Sadly, no ankle pivot, but if you look really closely, his feet are angled in a way where they're already like slanted. So basically, he'll be able to stand at whatever pose you give him. But overall, pretty pretty good posability but ah, man I just really wish he had more really wish he had more I mean the posability is fun at whatever poses you can get him in but it's just hard to pose this guy as in he's really kind of stiff 
So he, you got, you got, you gotta have to like, you're gonna have to like maneuver through some uh, uh, parts, like these parts here, if you want to make him do like a really high arm raise or just something. But all in all, there you guys go. But here is where I am going to cut it, you guys, so that way I can show you his uh, alternate mode, which it actually does look really, really cool. So without further ado, here is his alternate mode. Wow. Studio series. Again. Do I, be, do I even have to say it? I'm gonna say it anyway. Did a really fantastic job at making this alternate form. Really amazing job, Studio Series, at making one of the best alternate forms that I've seen. Wow. I mean, just wow. Wow. Studio Series has outdone themselves. You can see the front there. I do wish that the headlights were painted at least silver or just gray or just something not just plain black but it is what it is i guess i do love the accurate <laughs> wheel man look at that you even got a little symbol there police 643 dude i just to punish and enslave dude the details on this thing are so wicked wicked on the back there you have the back pretty cool and there you got the police pretty cool on the side to punish and enslave 643 and the same thing on this side but yeah all in all this thing does look really cool and for the top if you guys are wondering 643 with the red red silver or, or gray plastic and blue so there you guys go but yeah all in all really really cool now I do wish I really do wish that these were painted but Yet again, it would look weird on the robot mode, so I guess they're transparent, but you can just see the inside of the car mode. But yeah, I mean, it doesn't bother me that much here for the bottom. It doesn't actually look bad at all. Like, wow, like, yeah, they're escaping holes and stuff here and there, but it doesn't bother me. I'm, I'm so focused on 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 the, the car mode. It actually looks really cool, and if you guys don't know, this is a Mustang, so there you guys go. I mean, there is no way you can't tell me that this does not look screen accurate. There is no way, no how you can't tell me that this does not look screen accurate. Just, wow, they really knocked it out of the park with this alternate mode. I mean, it is so, so good that it is almost right there with the Masterpiece version of, of Barricade. And it looks really really good really an outstanding job studio series now as of right now i don't know where i can store the weapon i uh, i've been looking for like a couple minutes now and there was nowhere so that's the best you got right there now it looks a hundred percent better than the master no i'm just i'm just kidding but yeah all right here you guys go next to iron hive now you can just see these the size comparison there pretty pretty cool here he is next to ratchet pretty cool as well now we just can just see how cool he looks. here you have him next to my last review the studio series cliff jumper and honestly cliff jumper get taller bro freaking heck do bear kids already have your freaking height I'm, I'm sorry cliff jumper I really am no, I'm not. Here he is next to Starscream. Yeah, Starscream was a big boy. Big boy. Here he is next to Blackout. Now you can just see how big Blackout really is. And yeah, really, really big. And here he is next to the leader himself of the De of the Decepticons, Megatron. So there you guys have it. Really cool, really cool, really cool. I do have to give Studio Series really good credit as it does look really, really cool. Did I mention how cool it is? If I didn't, it looks really, really cool. But yeah, guys, there you guys go. But yeah, here is one last look at his really, 
really really cool looking car mode and just all in all it does look really great i do love this alternate mode oh man there's just not much else i can say about this it does look really really good like i said i do wish that these parts were painted silver or something but yeah really 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 wicked so let's transform them back so that way i can get my overall review of this figure and my overall grade one last thing i forgot to mention is that this figure does have rolling wheels so in case you do want to do that nice classic burnout and just keep it going pretty pretty cool and it does fit. yeah all right guys there you go there you have the transformers movie studio series 28 decepticon barricade now overall this figure does look really really good and it exceeded my expectation so much and i really do like this figure as it does look really screen accurate and even though we only got a little bit a little bit of screen time with barricade in the first transformers movie what he did was super super cool the transformation to robot into car mode vice versa was actually really really simple and yeah it is kind of a pain to tap in sometimes but once you guys get the hang of it it is a really really easy and simple transformation so for that i do have to give this figure a solid 9 out of 10. now the reason why it doesn't get a 10 out of 10 is because a is because of one big big con and this is with every barricade figure barricade has tens to loosen up as in you see that tab there it's supposed to go into that hole there but when you do it does tab in but it simply comes off like if it's nothing so i i tabbed it in right now so let's say i want to pose i want to pick them up or i just want to lift them up a bit it's already off that is one thing I do not like about this figure and that it just doesn't want to tab in. I don't know what the the problem is. I tried multiple times, but I, I just don't know. But that's really my only nitpick I have with this figure. Maybe another tiny one is I wish he had more posability. But other than that, it, it, it really is a tremendous figure. And for a deluxe class, it means a lot that they did an amazing job man yeah, fan fantastic job i really wish every deluxe figure was like this right now it doesn't even look like it doesn't even look like it transforms but i just wish every deluxe was like this man man if only if only if only but yeah guys uh i do highly recommend you guys go get this guy wherever you can find him now sadly this figure is not being sold at Big Bad Toy Store which sucks but uh, if you do want any other figure or transformer figure please make sure to check out Big Bad Toy Store in the description down below. Uh, TF Source does have this fi- Yeah. Um, that's a lot but if you do guys want a studio series version of this guy to to go with your studio series bumblebee or or just whatever you guys want i highly suggest you guys go for it so make sure to check out tf source in the description down below as well and show these stores does not have this figure so there you guys go but if you want to check them out as well check the description down below as well now there is the masterpiece version of this guy and it looks oh boy it does look really really good and i highly suggest if you guys are a masterpiece collector please go get that figure as it does look really really good and he is available at tf store so make sure to check out the description down below for that as well but yeah guys there you guys have it he is a hundred percent worth it he looks really good one of the best deluxe class of, of figures we've had in a really long time all right but that's gonna do it here for me guys so this has been primus reviews that's been Barricade, so remember to stay calm and keep moving on. So I'll make sure to see you guys on the next one. Alright, let's go out and eat. I am starving. Let's see what to eat. You. Yeah, you. Have you seen Jesus made these men towards heaven? Have you seen Jesus made these men?